Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Champions, and this evening will be Spider Ham versus Sandman on expert difficulty. This will be our testing video for Spider Ham. I want to see how good he is. So let's get started. Got to re resolve surging sands. And how many of these do I want to keep? No reason to keep some of them. One, two, three. Okay, let's get started. We can go. So we don't have any tune counters to start. You can go cartoon physics. Um, do I want Captain America or White Tiger? I think I want White Tiger. Draw two. Okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and thwart. Deal two damage. No, actually, we'll remove two sand counters and then we'll draw three. Okay, so one threat, one attack from Sandman. We're just going to face tank since we've got cartoon physics. So, prevent all but one damage, and we get one tune counter for that. However, it does trigger the Surging Sands. And then we got one encounter card incoming, which is calling in favors, so that'll bring in Rhino. Where is Rhino? Did I discard him already? I did. Okay. Here we go. For the hero phase. I could get out Captain Marvel. My other option is Ghost Spider. I think I like Captain Marvel here. One, two, three, four, and a tune counter for five to get out Captain Marvel. Discard the top four. That is unfortunate. All science and one of our very good allies. So no three damage and no stun that enemy. We can go one, well, just exhaust Captain Marvel and use the three attack. One, two, one, and we'll draw five. Okay, so one threat, one attack from Sandman. I'm just going to have to face tank for six. One tune counter, one attack from Rhino for three. One tune counter. And one encounter card. We also owe one surging sands. One, two. One encounter card, which is going to be sand clone. Okay, well, let's get out Web of Life and Destiny. I really don't want the villain to attack me on this scheme because it's indirect damage. I would do it if. He could, if I could have an allied tank. So let's go one, two, three for Hopi Brown. Let's use Captain Marvel to take care of the Sand Clone. Uh, and then we'll use Hobie Brown to thwart. And we'll flip to Peter Porker. Recover. 
and add a tune counter. And we'll draw five. One threat, one port for one. Rhino for zero, one encounter card. Common criminal. Sandman has very forgiving thwarting. Place two sand counters, then resolve surging sands. And no Sandman cards were discarded, so no stun. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Petulant Pig, Ham It Up, Swinging Pig. Okay, well, we can recover again. Get another Tune Counter, then we'll flip back over. He recovers really well, given that he has those tune counters. We can go one, two for rapid response, two for Maria. Well, first let's use Spider-Man for one damage. Discard the top three. So that's two, three, Four damage. And we'll go ahead and hmm. let's attack with Captain Marvel and White Tiger on Rhino. Captain Marvel and, White, and uh, White Tiger will be retired and will rapid response Captain Marvel back in. And then she can discard the top four again. We'll try again with this lightning resource. Okay. If you discard a printed lightning resource, deal three damage. If you discard more than one, also stun that enemy. Um, okay, so let's go one, two, three, and a stun. And we'll use Captain Marvel to take out the common criminal. Should also draw a card with Web of Life and Destiny for uh, Spider Man leaving play. Okay, and then we'll draw three. One threat, remove stun, one encounter card, master plan, volunteer work, okay. So let's go or actually I can I don't think so. Using a tune counter and cancel the master plan. So we put that back. Yeah, it was the top card, so we don't have to change anything else. Um And then let's go we'll use tune counters for huge wooden hammer. Exhaust Captain Marvel, remove sands. We'll use a tune counter for cartoon physics. And we'll draw four. We'll thwart for two, draw four. It's going to be an extra encounter card, so one threat. One attack from Sandman. Just face tank since it's just going to be one damage. That is going to be a Surging Sands. Also a two encounter. And then two encounter cards. Volunteer work and Sand Smash. He attacks with plus one attack. For five. And one surging sands. So that's going to be an acceleration token. And three indirect damage. One additional tune token. Uh, let's see. So let's go one, two, three, four for Avengers Mansion and draw a card. Let's 
go one, two, three for swinging web pig. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a confuse. Let's use Captain Marvel for the sands. Use Spider Ham to thwart. Flip to alter ego. Draw six. Three threat. No scheme. Move confuse. One encounter card, which is Rhino again. And we're on to the hero phase. Let's heal for five. Generate a token. Avengers Mansion. Let's flip. Uh, what allies do I have in my... Just Maria Hill? Okay. So we can make the call and energy for Maria Hill. Draw a card. Okay, so I think I will use Peculent Pig for Hogwash to remove one tune counter. Five damage. And we'll use Captain Marvel. Get rid of Rhino. Sport for two. And then we'll go get out Ghost Spider. Attack for two. Draw five. One, two, three. One attack. Four damage. And Surging Sands. One encounter card. Sand form. Okay. Draw a card, go organic webbing. So we're starting to get wet, uh, ramped up. Go. Hmm. Let's go one, two, three, four for Nick Fury and draw three. Okay, we've got Cartoon Physics. We can thwart for two, thwart for two, attack for two. Uh, let's have Maria Hill attack for one, get rid of the sand form. Then attack for two, and then we'll draw Four. So one, two, three. Sandman will attack. It's three and direct. One, two, three. It's not a forced interrupt, so I'm not going to use it in this spot. One, two, three, four. And then one encounter card, which will be Assault. Uh-oh. Well, now we'll have to use the Cartoon Physics. One damage. Let's draw. Where is Peter B. Parker? Still in the deck. Oh, I should have generated another tune counter. Probably going to have to heal this round. Let's go one, two, one, two, and three for swinging web pig. Now, first, let's use ghost spider to attack. Place one, and surging sands for seven. Retires Ghost Spider. Search for an identity specific event. Um, well, it's got to be hammered up. Then we swing in Web Big. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add Confuse. 
and we'll go ahead and play should I just do another swinging web pick swinging web pick number two Then I'll flip, cover, draw five. Okay. Should be the last turn. Scheme. Oh, he doesn't scheme. That's going to be the encounter card. Sand form. Okay, and we're on to the hero. Phase, we can heal again. Generate another resource. Draw a card. Uh, we'll go. So I need seven damage. Two, three, four, Spider Man. Flip, we'll attack. It's going to be acceleration token number two. Three damage generates another token though. Then we can go ready up spider ham. Use huge wooden hammer to attack for four. One, two, three, four. Hobie Brown. And we'll just thwart for two. And draw four. That's going to be an extra encounter card. One, two, three, four. One attack, which will just face tank. Or actually, we could have, we could have Spider Man take one of the damage. So it's five damage. We go one, one, two, three, and that ends the game. Okay, well, that was slow. Slower than other decks that I played against this. But it never really felt like I was going to lose. If I'd gotten any more acceleration tokens, I could have. Peter Parker taking a while to get out hurt. And Spider, I probably didn't manage Spider Ham's resources as well as I could have. He is strong. I don't think he matches Ironheart. But we'll have to test him against Venom. So we'll get him set, we'll get Venom set up. And let's keep going. And we're back with Expert Venom set up. So let's get started. Uh, Petulant Pig will be better in this scenario. We could keep one. And here we go. We'll go with, let's use Petulant Pig, the villain attacks for 3 damage, generate a counter, draw 3 cards, then we can go 1, 2, 3 for Hobie Brown, 1 for Cartoon Physics, 1 for Stinger, and we'll thwart for two, thwart for two, thwart for one, and draw four. So one threat, one attack, which can go on, we'll just face tank, cartoon physics, two encounter cards, Friends and family, and for whom the bell tolls, which is just going to be one damage, which is one more tune counter.
Okay, well that worked out pretty well. So we can go one, two, three, four for Avengers Mansion and draw a card. Go one, two, three. Get rid of Tooth and Nail. Two, three for White Tiger and draw two cards. Then we'll dwarf for two. And probably drop, make the call, and draw four. So one threat, one attack from Venom. We'll put that on White Tiger. One encounter card. Now we're angry. Okay, so Avengers Mansion, let's go Web of Life and Destiny. We don't have a strength resource for Peter Parker, so we'll have to use a wild one. One, two, three for Peter Parker. Four for two. Attack. Now uh, let's take that back. Let's four for or let's attack for one. Four for two. Ready Spider Ham. Let's flip to alter ego here. Let's discard an identity specific card. Get rid of friends and family. Let's heal. And generate a tune resource and draw five. So one threat, one scheme for two. One encounter card, which will be webbed up. Alrighty. One resource with Avengers Mansion. Let's trigger the stun. Let's go organic webbing. Let's exhaust this ready spider ham and then remove his stun. We can go, we could get out Scarlet Spider. Yeah, I like that. Do I like that more than Huge Wooden Hammer? Huge Wooden Hammer is really good. Let's go these two for Huge Wooden Hammer. So we'll have both of our upgrades. Uh, then we'll go ahead and warp for two, ready, spider ham, deal two damage. That's one boost card, that removes one counter. And yeah, I think that's going to do it. We'll draw three. So one threat, one attack from Venom. His attacks have overkill, so we're just going to face tank. One, two, three, four, five. One counter. One encounter card. Violent tendencies. Okay, so let's draw a card. We'll attack and use a tune counter to deal four damage. We'll give two boost cards, one for violent tendencies, and we'll get rid of now we're angry as well. Um, I would like to get our rapid response. So then I can use Spider Man. It's going to be a boost card. Retire him and bring him back with rapid response. We get to ready Spider Ham. And we get to discard three with Hobie Brown. One, two, just two damage. And I also get to draw a card with Web of Life and Destiny. And I can go one, two, three for Ghost Spider. Deal two, another boost card. Dwarf for two. 
Deal two. Deal another boost card. Deal two. Deal another boost card. Then we'll draw four. So one threat and one attack. It's going to be a lot of boost cards. The attack will go on Peter Parker. Okay, so two. The attack is at four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, no overkill, so we're all good. Rip Peter Parker, Web of Life and Destiny draws a card. And then we got two encounter cards. Guard the Bell Tower. Volunteer work. Okay. What do I want to do here? Draw a card with Avengers Mansion. Get our rapid response. Captain America hat. Generate a tune counter. Shuffle in one Spider Ham card. That'll be. There are no Spider Ham cards there. We'll put Venom into phase three. That's three boost cards. We'll use Captain America. Is he a web warrior? No. Remove tough. And we'll go two encounter for four damage here. Which is two boost cards. So once again, a lot of boost cards come in. And Oh, I forgot to discard cards for Hobie Brown when Spider-Man left play. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh well. I'm not going to go back and fix it now. So, two threat, one attack from Venom. It's going to be a lot of cards. Uh, it'll go and go to Spider. Uh-oh, it's going to gain overkill. So it's for three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, plus two indirect damage. And that's enough to kill Ghost Spider. Or, uh, that's enough to kill Spider Ham. The eight damage. Okay, well, let's reset and drag in. Here we go. Uh, do I want to keep Hammett up? I don't think so. Definitely want to keep Peter Parker, though. Six damage and a Confuse. Uh, I'll keep the rest. We'll draw one. So let's get started. Let's go... One... Two... Three for Peter Parker. One for Stinger. Flip, go, thwart for two, thwart for two, thwart for two, remove tough, draw five. One threat, one attack, which will go on Stinger, two encounter cards, biting retort. Venom will attack. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, encounter. And then another attack for one, two, three, four. Gonna need to heal almost right away. Spider Ham does heal very efficiently. This is actually one of the greatest strengths of the card. And what of the hero, one of the things that makes him probably a little better than I thought is that the recovery five, that is really strong. Well, I was going to want a petulant pig, but now I can't really. Probably should have used I don't think so, but oh well. Let's go ahead and thwart for two. 
port for two, port, and we'll use ham it up for cartoon physics. Now let's leave the one threat there. Let's flip over. One, two, three, four, five, generate a resource. And we'll just leave this and draw three. So one threat, one scheme for four. One encounter card, which will be enraged symbiote. We'll heal for five again. Generate a resource, and we'll flip. We'll go one, two, three for Captain America. Generate a resource. Shuffle one card in. Swinging web pig. Go one, two for Kalu. See if we can draw a card. Nope, no events. Uh, Captain America, take that out. Let's thwart. Don't really have Web of Life and Destiny, so I'm wondering if I should thwart here with Spider Man and Spider Ham again. Let's Petulant Pig. Fill in attacks for two, three. We draw three cards. Okay, that's what I was hoping to find. We can go one, two for rapid response. Now we'll use make one make the call for that. So now we can go two damage. He retires, we'll bring him back with rapid response. Then we can go warp for two. Two damage, so there should be two boost cards. Get rid of now we're angry. And we'll thwart again. And then we'll draw three. So one threat, one attack, it will go on Spider Man, I think. No, let's have it go on Kalu. Three, four, five, six, seven, no problem. One encounter card, violent tendencies. Okay. So we can go one, two, let's go, hmm, I need to do the swinging web pig. So one, two, three for swinging web pig, six damage, add confuse, get rid of violent tendencies, give two boost cards. And then I can go thwart for two, attack for two, give another boost card. Then we'll just draw two. Okay, so one threat. We'll just face take the damage because we got cartoon physics. So that's plus two, plus two, plus two. plus one, and then two indirect damage, so one damage, then two indirect damage, or vice versa, and then one encounter card, improvised weapons, okay. Uh, go cartoon physics, we'll go one, two, and Three for make the call to get Peter Parker. Where is he? Did I cycle my deck and I lost track? Oh no, he's still out. Whoops. Okay, so <laughs> I've got to go first then attack, give a boost card, 
And then we can cycle Peter Parker. Whoops. And then we can go one, two, one more boost, one, two, and we're into phase three, one more boost, and remove the toughness, and we'll draw four. So one threat, one attack, which is going to be for a lot, we'll just face tank with the cartoon physics. It's for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Resolve the one revealed. And that's going to be overkill plus damage, but it doesn't matter because it's all going on Spider Ham for one damage in cartoon physics. And we got one encounter card, which is Biting Retort. Well, that's unfortunately going to have to go on Peter Parker. and we're on to the Euro phase. Let's get out organic webbing. Get out white tiger. Uh, we'll flip and heal. Generate a tune counter which we'll use for rapid response. And then we'll draw six. So one threat. One thwart for two. You are stunned. And one encounter card, which is exhaustion. Okay. Uh, well, now I can't swinging web pig, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot that I shouldn't thwart. And that means no stun either. So I'll have to rewind this. Instead, this is the encounter card, which is maybe worse, eh, but at least I can heal and remove the confuse. Okay, let's get our web of life and destiny. Huge wooden hammer. Heal. Generate a resource. Flip. Little petulant pig, so venom attacks for four. And eh, I don't know if that's good. I don't think I'm gonna petulant pig in this spot. I mean, maybe it's fine. Let, I don't think so actually. Let's remove the tomb counter, ready up, and get our webbed up out of the way with the stun. And we'll thwart for two. And then draw three. So one threat, the attack will go on Spider Ham because of the overkill. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ouch. And one encounter card, which is guard the bell tower. Okay. Well, let's get rid of the stun. Let's go white tiger. Rid of the symbiote. Let's go one, two, three for swinging web pig. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Two boost cards. Add a confuse. Use the organic webbing. Deal two damage. Another boost card. Remove, now we're angry. And then we're going to flip to Alter Ego. Draw five. It's an extra encounter card. It's one threat. 
and no scheme, remove confuse, two encounter cards, we've got for whom the bell tolls, it's going to be a damage, no two encounter because we're not on the spider ham side, and advance, uh oh, it's going to be a big scheme, probably just lose right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, Yikes. Well, Spider Ham is strong. He's not as strong in this particular scenario as Ironheart was. I forgot to take Retaliate damage. Should have been two Retaliate damage. But I could have healed for five. I know that there's a card coming out in the next hero pack that's really good. I saw it when I was looking at decks for Spider Ham. So we'll definitely revisit him, because that card does make him a lot better. Right now, he's strong. He's probably in the Iron Man range, Protection Iron Man. So best hero in the game for solo right now, as of the Spider-Ham hero pack, is, in my opinion, Ironheart. Followed by Ghost Spider. Followed by... Uh, Doctor Strange, Spider-Ham, Captain America, followed by Ant-Man. So the top five for me right now would be number one, Ironheart, number two, Ghost Spider. And then number three would be like uh, Protection Iron Man, Spider-Ham, Doctor Strange, and then Captain America, the honorable mention. Those would be my hero rankings for True Solo as of the Spider-Ham hero pack. So, thank you for watching.